Folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc. One shot edition. Thanks for joining us, especially if you're on the East Coast and still have power. Uh, we appreciate that. I don't think Carol has power yet, so we can insult yeah. Carol and talk about her tabaxi bias all night long. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about DD. Join our Discord if you want to buy some cool crap. Phone case, shower curtain, duvet cover, pillow, blah, blah, blah. The link is down there. Uh, also, if you want to be on the show, like this one shot or on Tuesday's talk show, not this Tuesday, though, uh, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. We'll go ahead and get you on. And if you're in the market for some dice, and who isn't, uh, hop on over to Twitter, uh, find at Pirate Dog Dice, hit them up, see if they got time to make you some dice. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, or smells like success, Head on over to oddfishgames.com where they have 60, yes, 60 different uh, adventure scents for your nasal pleasure or pain, depending on which one you buy. They also have something called the Shine System. So if you want to be a stellar writer like myself, only gooder, grab their Shine System. Coming soon, their RPG Shine System. That being said, this is a one shot, folks. Uh, these three are third level. Uh, and you, you know you're talking, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to the cast. Uh, we'll start with Caitlin. Caitlin, who are you and who are you playing? I'm Caitlin. In real life, I'm a human, I believe. <laughs> Tonight, I'll be playing Mav May, who is a cleric tiefling, because classically, I only play tieflings. <laughs> nice. Have you played Mav before? What? Have you played Moth before? No, I can't we remember. Just okay. Her. Okay, cool. He's cute. He, you guys in your, your hair matches. <laughs> Twins. Next up is John. John, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? I'm playing a uh, mountain dwarf fighter. Um uh, but um let me see. I um haven't come up with a name yet, but I will. Okay, fair enough. Mountain Dew. Nice. I'll call you Dewey. Nice. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, last but certainly not least, Carrie. Carrie, same question, different answers. Show's already gone to the dogs. Of course, folks, uh, this one shot, like I said, uh, three third levels. These guys are in the city of Johan's Bend. Uh, they have recently gone tomb diving uh, and recovered a religious artifact uh, for Perfect. the local church, Chapel of Trousseau. I'm a uh, great cleric, so the tomb diving. Ah, so <laughs> right on point. You, you should have <laughs> had more stuff. Uh, you guys are considered heroes here in the town of Johans Bend. However, um, with that comes a certain amount of issues. Uh, one of them is the pastor of the church has decided since you have recovered their lost relic, they are going to throw a celebration. The deacon, uh, Deacon Millar, Peter Millar, uh, has gone ahead and he is in charge of you guys. You guys have been paid out 200 gold pieces each for recovering the relic. A fine payday. However, uh, the deacon asks for another favor. He goes ahead and he explains to you that there's this big celebration and they kind of need some help putting it all together. Uh, the congregation is currently working on making the church pretty, uh, making it festive, baking cookies, uh, finding bars, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, they were wondering if you could do a quick trip down the street uh, to where the ale maker is at and see if you can use your heroic charms to finagle a good deal on the alcohol. Uh, the deacon will give you a hundred more gold pieces. Uh, and once you make the deal, whatever's left is yours to keep. So, you know, all he needs are three kegs of ale, uh, brought back to the church. I'll go ahead and show you where you're at. 
uh, and show the folks at home. Uh, I don't want that one. <laughs> that that would be the wrong map to show you. Okay, so you guys are starting at the church and the ale maker. Short trip, just just one block away. Uh, I want you to go down there, talk to the brewmaster Hans, uh, and see if you can get a deal. You need three kegs of ale. You got a hundred gold pieces. Should be easy for a bunch of tried and true heroes. Sure. Any questions? Nope. None. Um, you guys going to accept the offer? Yes. Yeah. Why not? Nice. Oh, I I just wanted to let you know I picked a name. I am Adric Battlehammer. That awesome. works. Go ahead and change your name uh, on the Zoom. Right. So, uh, right. you guys are headed down the road. Uh, you're going to pass by the main gate, which you've come through once or twice before in your life. Uh, there's there's one problem. Uh, as you guys round the corner, uh, it's mid afternoon. People are milling about freely, but standing in the middle of your path are a male and a female having a pretty serious argument, and it looks like it's about to come to blows. Um, you guys can intercede on behalf of these lovers, or you can go ahead and bypass them uh, if you I want. I don't get involved in domestic disputes. That's one no, John, or Adric. Uh, let me see. I can uh, approach them um, and ask if uh, if anything's wrong. Is there something I can do to uh, assist them? And Mav, uh, what do you want to do? I'm gonna like. I guess I'll join. I'll casually join you with the assisting. Okay. Uh, right. Use my charisma. <laughs> Yeah, you use your charisma. I've got a charisma of eight. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got a charisma of fifteen. <laughs> you you do the talking. I'll just stand here. Back Jay, you up you, if you, uh, need you lean up against the wall. Uh, give me a perception check. Oh. Uh, Sixteen. Uh, you notice uh, a young man, a teenage boy, kind of eyeballing your associates and eyeballing you and eyeballing your associates and eyeballing you, and he starts to make his way over there. Adric, Mav, you approach, and these two people are just fuming. Give me an insight check to see if you guys can tell what they're mad about. They're mad oh, about cool. you. 13. I don't ever trust real dice, and that's why I like the virtual ones, but I got 10. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mauve, clearly their boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, maybe, whatever. Uh, Adric, uh, it seems as though the male half was out drinking pretty late last night, uh, and from the sound of it, may have trashed their place where they stay, their apartment. Uh, how do you two want to handle this lover's quarrel? Um, I'm going to go over to Mauve and relate, uh, whisper, whisper the information I received to her and see how she wants to proceed because she's the one with the good charisma. starting to gather, uh, and everybody's kind of looking at you guys. I wink. Two. <laughs> That's looking, just like not actually directly at anyone, just like. Okay. <laughs> Well, now, remember, you guys are heroes, so a lot of people oh, yeah. in town know who you are. Yeah, by that, since we're third level by now, I figured that yeah, people would know us at least somewhat. So th these, uh, the woman slaps the man right across the face. So the situation is escalating. Mm -hmm. I yell over and I say, look, you guys, you need to get out of there. <laughs> domestic affairs uh we don't do those the yeah may, may, maybe the best course of action at this point is just to walk away uh because your you choice know, 
Yeah, well, it's just if we get in the middle of this, it uh, it might turn ugly really quick. Uh, <laughs> Possibly. You, you notice no town guards are around. Uh, Jade, the young teenage boy uh, that was eyeballing all three of you, has sauntered on up to you. Head crosses his arms, and he's like, uh, shouldn't you heroes do something about this? We don't get involved in domestic matters. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, That's between a man but, and a woman. But but the the lady just hit the guy. I you know that seems that seems wrong. Well, well if, hit, if 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 he hits her back, he can hit her back maybe then. we should get we should get. Yeah, we believe in equality. Var- varying opinions on that one. <laughs> Well, you know what? Uh, the lady has slapped the man again, and you can just see him start doing the fists. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh, the the teenage boy again points out. I, you know, I Mauve, 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 Maybe you should try to defuse the situation, Chief. You can get the two of them to uh, you, you give each other some space or something before this gets really ugly. I asked the lady if she wants to come and grab a drink with us. I don't know if we even have money, but... Uh. But you got a lot, oh, of money. lot of money. We're third level. We have money. Yeah, ask her. <laughs> yeah, you just got paid 200 gold pieces. Ask her to come uh, down to the ale maker with us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Bob Persuader. Mm. Persuasion. Virtual. This one I will terrible. 22! Yes. Nice. Uh, <laughs> she decides what's good. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Uh, gives him a harumph and starts to storm off with you guys. The crowd, a- accolade, victorious uh, hero. You, you guys have uh, made quite the impression. Uh, as you continue to wander down there, you can hear her muttering, "That good for nothing sot." Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Uh, you make it all the way down to the ale house, uh, and it is called uh, Countryside Beverage. It is the triangular shaped building that I showed you earlier, uh, right here. Uh, you mm-hmm. make it in. Uh, the whole place smells like a brewery because, let's face it, it's a freaking brewery, uh, which is fine. Uh, there's a lot of people working, a lot of kegs lying around, uh, and there's a uh, short, fat, balding man, barrel chested. Uh, he's human, uh, but he's tote that barge, lift that bale, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. He seems to be the guy in charge. Everybody give me perception check. Ugh. Six. 20, not natural. Trying to get my dice roller to work here. Uh, 11. Uh, okay, of the three of you, Mav, you can hear a pair of uh, guys talking. Uh, that Otis, he's just a ball buster. God, I wish he'd just take it easy, blah, blah, blah. You can relatively assume from your perception check, looking back and forth, Otis is the barrel chested, bald, short guy. Otis. Okay, uh, I want to go up to the barkeep. Uh, that w- Not a tavern. Little- Not a tavern. Oh, okay. This is an ale house. This is like a distributing company. Oh, okay. So the brewmaster. Uh, the brewmaster. Thank you. I want to go up to the brewmaster and ask how much it would be to sample some of his finest. Persuade me. Oh, boy. I've got a minus one. Let me see yeah. how I do it here. Should have had the tiefling do that. <laughs> Five. Uh, hey, yeah. hey, hey. I'm going to pretend just I don't know off. him and just pass by and be like, can I get a drink for me and my lady? <laughs> Persuasion. This is like so nerve wracking. I'm real terrible. Mm, nine. Rip. Look, sweetheart. I'm busy. Okay, I go up and I say, there's going to be a party back in town. They sent us down here to get some beer. And if you give us a good price on the ale, we'll be sure to like 
publicize your name everywhere. Mm-hmm. Make sure everybody knows where we got it from. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Persuade me. Oh, boy. I better pick different dice for that. Well, of your new female friend points out, I thought you were buying me a drink. 17. Hmm. 17. Advertising, you say. Well, what kind of good price are you looking for? Well, what's your standard price for... Uh... Uh, my standard price is 40 gold pieces uh, a keg. A lot. Do you deliver? Nope. You got to roll it yourself. Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> uh... Now keep in mind, the deacon gave you 100 gold pieces. And you were allowed to keep whatever you don't use. Oh, 30 of pay? So do you have... Keep, keep in mind also... It sounds like you'll be transporting the barrels, so if you break it, yeah. you're going to need another one. So I ask him uh, if they have any dollies we can borrow to take the... I don't play with dollies. That's what my daughter does. <laughs> okay. Do you have any wagons we could borrow to take the ale back? Fresh out. Everybody's out on the morning run. You can roll them if you want. They're pretty sturdy. Well, I have a 15 strength and a 13 dex. Maybe I could do that. There's three of them. That's uh, a good point. So uh, how, much, how much are you willing to pay with all this free advertising? How about 20 a barrel? D12. Of course. Out of all the dice. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, fuck. Four. Three. Uh, I expect to be... Uh, Talked up very well there, young lady. You Can have... I offer you a sample? Oh, that would be wonderful. Do you have any advertising print materials I could take back with me? Uh, he gives you a board with his name on it, Otis. That works. <laughs> That's fine. Yes, if, if we could all have a small sample, that would be wonderful. All of you? Are you with these two? Or these three? Unfortunately. Ah. It's my curse. Cross to bear, you know. Okay, he gives you a, a short glass of the ale. Uh, everybody go ahead and roll con uh, to see how you like it. Is that a con save or just a regular con roll? Regular con roll. Okay. A 19. Natural 20. Ooh. Well. Uh, you, uh, the tiefling and Eight. the dwarf really like it. Uh, Jade, it's okay to you, and Mav, your new friend, spits it out, and she fans her mouth. She is not quite used to... She, and I say, this is wonderful. Don't mind her. She's not used to this kind of thing. This is, this is the best ale I've ever had, and I've sampled ale from all over. And I'll be like, this is uh, so good. There's no metallic taste, like back home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, Sixty gold pieces. All right. We give them the, out of the hundred. All right. Uh, so far, you guys are plus forty. So, uh, is there any like stables around somewhere? Where we any? Could... Any? Is there anyone in town who would uh, sell us like a cart or something that we could load the 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 ale into? Uh, you guys could go back down the street to where the stables are and check for porters or carts. Let's do that. I, I ask him, will you set this aside for us, please? D12. I mean, I already paid for it. 12. Ugh, three. <laughs> That's okay. We'll take it now. I. Yeah, you need to take it now. All right. Okay, start rolling a barrel. <laughs> okay. Gently. You, you Gently, guys, yes. You guys can go back the way you came, or you can go right down this straight line. Straight line. I vote go? straight line. Hey. Uh, to the stables. This, this is where you're at. Mm-hmm. The stables are over here. Mm-hmm. The church is here. Or you can roll, because this is on a hill. This is on an incline. How much of this, a hill? Not so much. I feel like it, I don't trust the hill. Steep, 
But uh, once that show gets rolling, I am uh, not no. dexterous, and I do not have much strength. We so. go the other <laughs> the other side. Back the way you came. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, is it possible for me to roll two barrels at once with my fifteen strength or not? Nope. Okay, say, I didn't think. Is there so. a sidewalk around here? Nope. It's just a road. A lot of horse shit and things of that nature. Mauve, uh, D12 against me. Let's see if the lady's going to stick with you. Right. Three. Nine. You win. Do you want her to stay with you or go away? Yeah, I'll be like, can you go in front of us as our so leader? Run her over with a barrel. Nice. No, so she can make sure, <laughs> so she can make sure no one gets in our way. So she can clear the path. Yeah, okay. exactly. Are you guys are you guys gonna roll in a straight line or are you gonna roll three across? We should probably do it in a straight line. We're gonna piss it. I, I think so, yes. I Definitely. thought you meant like physically rolling it. I was like, nah, we're gonna zigzag it. Mm-hmm. Nope. So you want her to lead the group and kind of fan yeah. everybody out. Yeah. Like, watch out. Okay, first off. First roll, who's who's going right behind her? I will. I will. Okay. What do I need to roll? Well, hang on. Who's going behind Adric? Uh, I have the least string. You do? I, think. I don't know. I did a 10. <laughs> I was, like, not strong. Uh, where's my strength at? I don't see it anywhere. Oh. 11. Oh, so we're both bad. All right. Don't matter. Yeah. I'll go next. Right. And I'm going to uh, knock everyone out. Okay, everybody do a dexterity check. Not save. Check. 20. Uh, shit. 10. Eight. Well, eight? Mauve rolls hers right through horseshit. Oh, okay. That's fine. Well, uh, that's now me. that you're moving it. It's like home. There's horseshit I love the all stinky over your, I work in a graveyard. You think smells bother me? <laughs> you I are. I love it. The more I the way the back. <laughs> Everybody, re-roll your dex check. Ah. Uh. Six. Six. Funny. Uh, Mauve is now zigzagging around the piles. Uh, Adric is now paying attention to the butt in front of him. He rolls through manure all over his hands. Jade oh, cannot see manure all over her hands. And also, Mauve, your new friend, has stopped because her boyfriend, the himbo, is standing there with his hands on his hips, and they are once again arguing about where they've been. And with the ale all over her breath, she would appear to be intoxicated, even though she is not. One drink? Oh, okay. Well, it's, it's a strong ale. So oh, it okay. must have been like an no. eight constitution or I something. I yell up to him and I say, look, I, I get that you guys are in the middle of something, but we're oh, going we to we're gonna pay her to, we're paying her to help escort us back. And once we get back there, then you guys can like continue your discussion. If that would be great. Persuade me. Yeah. Add, add plus one. I like the thought process there. Ooh, 20, not natural. Oh, well, you know, we're going to be late on the rent. This might help us out. So he decides to shut his mouth and step aside. Could you help us? I'll I'll pay you as well. What do I got to do? Just, you know, kind of do what she's doing. Make sure everybody's out of the way, you know. D12 against me. Eight. How much are you paying? Uh, five gold? Yeah, he'll do it for five gold. Uh, the two of them, now uh, single-minded task, 
out of the way, out of the way, important beverage delivery, out of the way. Uh, you have resolved their squabble. You've gained the help. Everybody, last dexterity roll, add one to your roll. Eleven. I got a six again. The dice do not like me tonight. Twenty, not natural. Good news, bad news. Uh, you guys round the barrels around. Uh, Adric, not paying any attention, rolls through manure yet again. Everybody who's touched manure, minus one to your charisma rolls from Jesus. here on out. I already have a minus one. <laughs> well, so do I. Too. But it depends uh, on the person we're talking to, because they may like that scent. Yeah, That's so if you true. find a scat dealer, they might like that. Uh, but well, the good news is, <laughs> you three have arrived. And so, let's see, we said 20, so we've got 40 left, and I give each of the people that helped us five gold. Mm -hmm. And how much, how much is the cart going to cost? We You're there. Done. We're done. Oh, okay. All right. All right. You all right. you have arrived at the church okay. with it intact. Sweet. With 30 gold pieces. However, Ooh. give me uh -oh. a perception check. Oh, man. Do, do, do. All of us? All of you. 16. Wow. Three. 17. Mauve uh, is talking to the female and male, wishing them all the best after Jade pays them. Jade and Adric, you notice some seedy looking individuals and they are making a beeline for you. There are three of them. They are wearing black robes with violet piping. Uh, the tallest member kind of looks like he's in charge. Uh, the three of them approach you, uh, and the guy in charge, four, steps up to Adric, and he says, uh, pardon me, are you the heroes from that tomb thing? Can I blind this person? You don't even see him yet. <laughs> oh, you're having a conversation. I'm a black. Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> okay. Since I was playing a different character last time we met, I assume I don't know anything about the tomb thing. Yeah, not related. Okay. In that case, I say, uh, no, I don't know anything about a, a tomb. Deception check. Okay. Dece uh oh. This is what I get for having such a low charisma. Okay. Deception check. Come on. 11. Oh, well, my apologies. I, I was under the impression that you were uh, fantastic heroes, saviors of the realm. I, I say, I, I, inter I interject. Look at us. We're all covered in shit. Would heroes really be <laughs> covered in shit? No, no, I suppose they would not. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll let you guys get back to your uh, yes. alcohol I delivery. I to shake his hand. Uh, he politely declines. I'm I'm going to rub what what's left on my hands on my clothes, so at least my hands will be clean, even if my clothes aren't. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Possibly you... wipes your hands on your butt. Okay. Right. <laughs> like, like wipes. Yes. Wipe, wipe my uh, hands on my leggings. Yes. You you guys go uh, around the corner to where the deacon uh, said goodbye to you. Uh, he is there with clipboard in hand, tote that barge, lift that bale, blah, blah, blah. Turns around and looks. He goes, you guys are amazing. This is incredible. I, 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 I'm stunned. I stop him and I say, eh, you're going to need to have someone clean the barrels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of smell that. But you know what? Uh, the, the bung holes are still in place, so the ale must be good. Uh, oh, it's he, good. We tasted it. <laughs> He kind it's of delicious. Tips, tips it around. Well, this this is going to be fantastic. I I, I just I, I I I'm over the moon. Um, oh, we need to put this sign out when we uh, at the beer oh. tent. Yeah. Oh, we got a discount. Oh well, that's mm -hmm. good. That's good. Well, you know what? You get to keep the money. Uh, 
<sighs> is there something wrong, Your Grace? I hate to I hate to ask. Um, no, that's okay. We, we've run into a small problem here. Uh, the decorations committee uh, kind of had a beef with the baking committee, uh, so we're, we kind of need decorations. I, I was wondering if if you might be able to maybe use your magic one more time and uh, run over to the, the decor place and uh, see. It's a, it's a general mercantile. Uh, I, I, I'll give you another hundred gold. Sure. Yeah. Why are you willing to do else? that? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this time you guys are going to go ahead and go get decorations uh, from the church here. Uh, the easiest way, and he tells you, is to go down to the riverside, cross over, and it's this large building right here. Oh, it says Lord. General Mercantile. It's a couple blocks away. Not a big deal. Still, you know, early after or mid afternoon, so you got plenty of time. Party's not till uh, supper time, so you know. To, we need to get our hands clean, though. We can't be walking around town smelling like shit. It, it, if you if you go uh, back up to the main gates, there's a fountain right there, and you can wash off. So if you go right here, right in this corner, from here, uh, there's a well. Yes, I think we need to do that. We yes. Need our, but, we, I need that one point of charisma back. Sure. No, no uh, that's I, fine. Uh, I wanted to um, ask before we go, how big and how many decorations are we talking? Can we carry them or are we going to need to hire a horse and cart to transport them? No, 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 no. It, it's textiles. Uh, and, and the general merchant uh, is a friend of ours. He knows what we want. We're putting banners up inside the church to uh, promote the return of the relic. Uh, he's been working on it most of the day. Uh, so, no, I, I think you three hardy individuals are, are more than capable <laughs> of, of carrying it. They should be rolled up banners. So you can, there's okay. six of them, you can just hike them underneath your arms. Okay. That should okay. be a problem. So, you want to go wash off first? Please, yes. Okay. Well, uh, Adric, uh, uh, Jade and Mav can wash their hands. That's not a problem. You, however, uh, uh -oh. cleaned your hands uh, on your clothing, so uh, you're going to have to do a little scrubbing. So uh, give me a D20 roll, uh, just straight up roll. Fifteen. Uh, you, you, you've, you've scrubbed a lot, uh, and you've... Uh, not quite ruined your clothes, uh, but but they they don't look as new and as shiny and as nice as they used to because uh, when you grab the brush to clean it off, uh, it was kind of a wire brush used to clean off horses' hooves. Uh, but uh, good news is you're going to be clean. Bad news is uh, as you guys are all cleaned up, you turn around to head back down the road and. Uh, those three dudes in the black uh, cloaks with the violet piping are there, and uh, the the leader goes back to Adric and says, uh, eh, "Excuse me, friend, real quick again. Uh, I've been asking around, and uh, I, 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 I I I've been told, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I've been told that uh, you you guys are the the heroes." We were wondering if you guys would be interested in a, a quick job. Well, we've already been assigned to do a job, but uh, what's your job? I mean, you might. Well, be let's uh, let, let's step around the corner here because this is kind of a. This, okay, this kind of, I, I, I I step around the corner with him. Okay, Jade and Mav, do you step around the corner with the, the three as well? So, which corner are we trying to step around? You guys will be over here on this corner. Hmm. It's off the beaten path, but uh, he says it's it's kind of important. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't trust guys in matching clothing. Well, Adric's already going over there. Mav, what do you want to do? Caitlin. <laughs> she's muted. She's also eating. That's why she's muted. Do you want to okay. go over to the corner with the cloaked guys or no? I hit on mute and it didn't unmute. 
Um, wait, where did you guys go? With I them? guess if he's already going, I have to follow and keep an eye on him. Yeah, follow the cloak guys. Um, okay. They come around the corner, all three of them, and they're like, um, so we have to, uh, now I just saw your message. <laughs> uh, so um, we, we've got this problem. Uh, our uh, security box has been robbed, and we were wondering if, if you could help us bring the uh, subjects to justice. Where was the security box at? Well, <laughs> kind of a funny story. Uh, and the two cultists take out their mace, and the cult fanatic whips out his dagger. Uh, initiative, everybody. That's what I figured. Fifteen. Fifteen. Five. Five. I'm kicking the shit out of you. Okay. Fifteen and fifteen, Jaden Adric. You guys are up first. I am going to smack the nearest one with my battle axe. Okay. <clears throat> Eleven. Nope. Uh, okay. It rings off some kind of armor underneath his cloak. Jade. We stripping. I'm going to go try the Melf's acid arrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, on the same guy or different guy same guy and i just rolled a 20 uh 44 is you hit the leader two three where's my other one so they like don't want us to have this party 10 there's a backstory 10 damage mm -hmm. We ask them why they don't want the party. Uh, sure, you can ask them while they're kicking the shit out of you. Uh, why don't you want the party? On Adric. Uh, that's going to be a miss with a three on Jade. Uh, thirteen. Does a thirteen hit you? Yes. And on Mav. Ooh, seventeen plus three, dirty twenty. Uh, Mauve and Jade, five hit points of damage each. Uh, Can I do Hellish Rebuke? You may. You have to do a Dex 12 save. Uh, that's a four. I did not see that coming. Okay. So it is 13 damage. 13 damage? Yeah. Uh, as Mav is struck, uh, her hellish rebuke flames erupt from her body. Make this guy, you see the outline of him, and then he crumbles to <laughs> dust. Oh, shit. So they have, like, no health. Uh, Mav, your attack. Mm -hmm. There's now the leader that was talking to Adric, and the other one that hit Jade. Mm -hmm. Um, how far away are they from me? Right on top of you. Oh. Okay. So close that your boot is covered with the dust of one of the cultists. Nice. Um, How many freaking attacks do you have? <laughs> no, not allowed. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Sorry. <laughs> what is this? Um, well, I was under spells only, so I was really confused. It makes sense. I use my mace, not the spray, but the... <laughs> right. Are you hitting Adric's or Jade's? Um, 
I guess Adrix, he doesn't have any damage, right? Uh, oh. Yeah, J Jade lit him up with acid. Oh, whoever doesn't have damage, I'll do. That's the other cultist. Go ahead. Okay. Um, not going to hit with a three. So I'm just a swing. New That's round. A Jade and Adric, you're up. Okay, I will go ahead and hit with the battle axe again. Okay. I can't hit the broad side of a barn today. Eight. Darn. Jade, you're up. Eighteen. Oh, yeah. That connects. Are you going after the one attacking Adric or the one attacking you? I will go after the one attacking me. Sure, good. And I'm going to use Witch Bolt. Nice. That's 1d12 lightning. Four. Four damage? But I can keep doing it each, each turn. Yep. Sweet. Uh, well, that guy didn't appreciate you lighting his ass up. Uh, he swings his mace, but swings high. Uh, let's see. D6. Uh, Adric, wisdom save as the guy in front of you utters arcane words and you feel your body start to go rigid. Uh -oh. Nine. I think I'm in trouble. You go rigid and not the good kind with the blue pill. We're talking you are now powerless. Mav, you're up. Uh, you see Adric go all stony. Yeah, she's muted. You're again. muted. Still muted. Every time I like, uh, sorry, I rolled a nineteen. Um, he's stoned. Huh. Uh, paralyzed. And the other one. Uh, well. Adric is paralyzed. Jade is fine. Oh. Jade has somebody in front of her. Adric has a guy in front of him. Okay, so I attack the one in front of Adric. So 19 hits. Yep, Even 19 hits. Three damage. Okay. Uh, his spell holds true. New round. Mm -hmm. Jade, you're up first. I continue my <coughs> lightning attack on asshole. Sure. And 11. Uh, that kills him. Awesome. <laughs> he falls to the ground limp. Speaking of limp, uh, Adric, you are not. I will give you another wisdom saving throw. Thank you. 19 this time. You <laughs> shake it off. Uh, but. Swift. That's right. He's shaking it off. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Uh, only one left. Uh, this dude is going to go after four. Adric, uh, he's going to light you up with some sacred flame, I think. Hi. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, let me pull is up. Is there a save versus that? I think I just have to hit you. Okay. Dex uh, of 18. Or armor class of 18. Nope. Uh, Dex saving throw for you, so go ahead. 13. Uh, pass. Uh, Sacred Flame goes whizzing over your head. Ma, there's only one left for you. Um, <coughs> kill it. <coughs> kill it with fire. Mm -hmm. uh, five. Oh, why? Should I even use the spell? Oh, well. A five? hit five that's what you rolled <laughs> new round adric jade you're up just one okay left. this time i got a 16 to hit that hits okay that's much better all Kick right his ass. a total of 10 points of damage with a battle axe jade dude's still alive uh 18 it's and I will use my witch bolt on him. Huh? Eight. Ooh, he's not looking good at all. Uh, fight or flight. In for a penny, in for a pound. 
He screams out, by the power of noons, I rebuke your attack. And he looks at <clears throat> two jade and swings his dagger. Awesome. Uh, with a six. Uh, the dagger just cuts off a slight wisp of your hair. Mauve, you're up. Finish this dude off. I just had this done. <laughs> Back to the beautician. Yeah. He looks like he's dying. <laughs> he's yes. pretty beat up. He's so on the verge. Use all my spells in case we have another attack. I can't with this. I got another five. New round. Uh, Jade I'm just dancing with my weapon. All right, hold on. <laughs> wow. I got a 17. Does that hit? That is. You got it. Hold on. Wrong, wrong die there. I rolled three points of damage. Jade? I Wait, got so nine. Alive? You miss because... No, no. Adric's... I'm using my witch bolt. Oh, okay. Uh, as you fire off another witch bolt, uh, you hit the man as he's falling backwards, sundered by Adric's blow. Uh, but you guys are acting at the same time, so eh, more than likely you just hit Adric's blade and really lit him up. So all three are now dead. You guys are around the corner from most everybody. Uh, who wants to d12 against me? Is there anything to collect? I'll go ahead. Go ahead I got eat. a six. I got an eleven. Ooh. Let's roll what it is. A child comes to the fountain and sees it, gasps and drops their jar. This child is a male, and the young boy takes off. Uh, who asked Wait, about? How far that? away is he? Around the corner, maybe For twenty sakes, feet. Don't kill him. <laughs> no, no. Did somebody say loot in the bodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was me. Um, was he at some point within thirty feet of us? Sure. Can I blind him? Sure. Um, it says attack, save, con 12. Uh, you can blind or and choose one creature. Oh, wait, does it not count as his creature? Yeah, that counts as a creature. Uh, with a one, you completely blind him and he bashes himself into a building and knocks himself out. Uh, you notice that each one of these three individuals wears an iron holy symbol. Anybody looking at the holy symbol can give me a religion check. No, oh, that's not going to be good. I got a 13. Eight. Mauve. Eight as well. You guys don't recognize this symbol at all. Uh, but you figure it's probably worth about four gold each. So there's 12 gold. Can uh, I put the one guy's ashes like in a pouch or a jar? Some weird, nice one. It sure, yeah, go ahead. So that's the that's the only thing that's on them. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're washed up and weren't they wearing like cloaks or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I doubt they're in good shape at this point. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they they got There's hacked. There's a cow in nearby. Can't you? <laughs> oh, you mean like they're shredded? Mm -hmm. A lot of damage. Uh, Mauve D twenty against me. Just straight up D20. Yep. Five. It's the lucky number today. You need a different set of dice. You like, were I was doing the virtual ones, and this was the in-person one, and still with a five. You were rebuffed for your casual threesome. <laughs> wait, wait. I got You're, it? You did not get it. <laughs> with a five really that's what you thought uh okay you've just killed three people and still have <laughs> one for the decorations yeah let's go for our decorations as uh, adric and jade walk around the corner 
uh, they see what Moth has already seen, an unconscious child. Uh, when he wakes up, he will probably be crying. So he'll, he'll be fine. He's young. Yeah, but now we didn't see anything that happened. So young he people know. are very resilient. It's true. Uh, as you guys walk along the riverfront, uh, the crowd's getting a little bit sparse. Uh, you know, it's 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 middle of the afternoon, maybe four o'clock or something. Uh, but as you wander around, following the instructions from the deacon, boom! Right there, big ass sign, General Mercantile. Mercantile. Mm-hmm. I tell the tiefling, you need to go in and use your charisma on this yes, shit. Yes, please. He looks like shit and, you know. Yeah. Smell and like I smell shit. like shit. <laughs> no, yeah, he's exactly. Clean. He's You're clean. clean. He just looks I'm ragged. clean. Yeah, the next, when we get a chance, I'm going to buy some new clothes. <laughs> well, this is a mercantile store. Oh, that's uh, true. Not a tailor. Not uh, a tailor. Okay. Okay. Maybe Got some car hearts. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mav, do you want to go in and charm the dude? Sure, I'll try. As you walk in, there's a young man in there, maybe 16 tops. Uh, he's not going to be the guy that you're looking for. Uh, and you can tell he's completely lost. Uh, takes one look at you, D12 against me. Uh, What'd you get? Five. Two. Seriously? I don't know. I got the bad luck. He he steps behind the counter and puts his hands up. I don't want any trouble. That's racist. (laughs) All right. I step forward and I say, we've been sent by the priest guy to pick up some decorations. Oh, um, sorry about our appearance, but you know, we've been running errands today and I, um, I work with dead bodies. I I don't, uh, (laughs) necro. I, uh, I don't know where he put it. You might want to go next door, uh, to the tavern and ask for gentry or no gentry's it's gentry's tavern. Uh, the, the boss is next door getting a drink. I don't know where you put the, the banners that you're looking for. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we can send the tiefling next door. She can try again. <laughs> All right. It's a pub. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's the sign over the door says Gentry's Pub. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's okay. Uh, and keeping in mind, you guys are. Uh, 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 Alcoholics. Right here. Okay. So, um, you guys are right here, and uh, this this is the this is a big incline here. It leads up to the keep. So, whatever. Uh, but yeah, the the pub. Right there. Oh. Well, let's go next door. All three of you, or just one of you? Well, let's leave Adric here. He doesn't look so good. Good yeah. idea. We'll freshen up in the bathroom. <laughs> Maybe they can uh, find a Carhartt for him or something. As uh, as you ladies walk in, uh, it's one like of, streamers being tied around yourself. One of you deep <laughs> twelve against me. I mean, if you get five, I'm gonna laugh. Oh, what is it? Am I rolling it? Sure. Oh, I thought you were. Oh, no, I can. No, too, too late. Seven. Twelve. Oh. Uh, Both of you beat me. Uh, <laughs> as you walk in, uh, clearly they do not get a lot of females in here. Uh, you have the rapt attention of everybody in there. Great. <laughs> and they're looking at you. Uh, you see a, a, a merchant type sitting at the bar laughing about something. He does not know you are here. Both of you give me perception checks. Twelve. Nine. Uh, You both see the individual. Jade, uh, you see a trio of strange-looking dudes. You notice they've got a... Great. Symbol. And where are they in relation to us? 
There we were sitting at the tables. Okay, so we go up to the mercantile looking dude and mm -hmm. say, excuse us, we were sent to pick up some decorations from your store. Oh, oh, yes, by all means. Uh, I just got done with them and eh, had to have me a wee drink. No, uh, no, you... I understand it completely. Uh, your person here didn't know where they were at. Oh, not, no, he's young. He doesn't yes. know anything. You guys are the heroes no. from that tomb, aren't you? No, actually, we're just the errand people. No, no, no. I saw you when you brought that thing back. You guys are the heroes, and you, uh, being being a follower of the church, I am I am damn glad that uh, you guys you guys helped us out. You guys are. Let me buy you a round of drinks. I feel like the monster's gonna come out at the end. We really don't. I mean, I appreciate it, and it, but we really <laughs> need to get the decorations back. But mm -hmm. I'm telling you. We have some of the best ale around. Mm. When you come down, I'll pour you a pint. The bartender goes, oh, so my ale isn't good enough. Mm, I'll take that one. That wasn't what I said. I'll take one. I'll take a glass. He'll, he'll get a glass from Mav. Mav, give me a con check. Mav, you lie your ass off no matter what. <laughs> Uh, it's not bad. It's not great. Uh, Adric, over in the general mercantile store, you're looking around. Uh, D12 against me. Sure. Six. Hold up. What's my dice roll? Okay, here we go. Ten. Uh, hey, good news. Uh, you found some britches in your size. Thank goodness. Yes. I hastily pay for them and find a private area to change no private area you're just <laughs> have to drop trowel right there no there's okay. nobody in there <laughs> i i i i i i buy i buy the i buy the trow new trousers and change uh am i as presentable he, again <laughs> as he he averts his eyes uh and as you're hiking it up the leg uh yeah, A, you do look presentable. And B, he goes, oh, hey, here's your banners, mister. Thank you, son. Uh, I, uh, an asshole. <laughs> I, I tip him a gold piece. Oh, very nice. Uh, there's six of them. You're only going to be able to carry two. They're rolled up. They're like mini tapestries. Uh, you look them over. Yeah, whatever. You know, you don't give it two shits, but looks fine. Jade and Mauve. Uh, the guy having a drink with him. No, we got to get out of here. <laughs> um, he finishes his drink. He goes, <clears throat> okie dokie. Let's go next door. We'll get you your banners, ladies. That sounds Folks, wonderful. Heroes. No, you no. guys are heroes. Oh. Uh, both of you give me perception checks. I'm only here when the banners. Oh, no, six. Eleven. Uh, uh, Jade, you notice nothing unusual. Mauve, uh, yeah, it looks like the three salty dudes are finishing their drinks. Great. Uh, the merchant leads on over to the store, gets out, he goes, belches really loudly. Whoa, whew, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Uh, you say they've got ale for tonight? Yes. Oh, well, that's going to be special. Uh, goes in. Uh, you guys walk in. You notice that Adric has changed pants. I and he's, whistle he's holding at him, and I banners. go, looking good. Thank you. Yeah, He's got the two banners, points to the table, says the other four banners are right there. We can get going. Yep. Can we works. ask for assistance with the banners? Well, are you asking? Yeah, I'm asking. He goes, my boy here can help you out. Persuade the boy. Get your boobs out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dude, we're going to need help. Ooh. Ooh. Five. 
Oh, he's still scared shitless of you. Uh, uh, well, then okay. can I intimidate him to help us? <laughs> <laughs> you can, but first, everybody, give me a perception check. Um, Seven. I'm three. I'm completely oblivious. Seven. Twenty. Not natural. <clears throat> Ma, if you hear the door shut and a click. Oh, fuck me. As you turn around. Uh, the three salty warrior dudes from the tavern are there. Well, well, well. Heroes. More like tomb robbers. Everybody roll initiative. Head back now. Okay. Oh, they're ready for bear. Twelve. Oh, Lord. Uh, three. Mauve? Sorry. <coughs> Five, my lucky number. Uh, these three dudes in unison, they look like the three musketeers, uh, whip out short swords and each approach you. So, Jade, uh, 10 plus 4, 14. Yeah. Slicey and dicey, Adric. 4 plus 4 is 8. I'm assuming that's a miss. Oh, yeah. Mauve, seven plus four is 11. I assume that is a miss as well. What? Seven? Seven. Yeah. Jade, you suffer two hit points of damage as these three are ready to kick some ass. All of you notice that same holy symbol is around oh, these guys' these neck. Guys. We'll start with 12, Adric. It's battle axe time. <laughs> In your new pants. In the new Oh, natural one. Oh, they must be brown pants. Oh, uh, good news. You didn't miss. No. Roll a six. One to two is Jade. Three to four is yourself. Or five to six is Mauve. Three to four. I just hit myself. You swing and a miss. Uh, do damage and cut it in half. Okay. Me likey ones. <laughs> Okay, two points of damage. Maybe they'll be intimidated. They're like, these people are crazy. They're hurting themselves. That's true. Mauve, you're up next with a five. Do you want to intimidate the boy or deal with these uh, monsters in front of you? Uh, I use him as a human shield. <laughs> oh, wow. I've missed you. <laughs> Little Jimmy is now a human shield. <clears throat> you reach back, grab a hold of him. Uh, one Maybe to the five. shopkeeper will help fight then. I don't know. One to five, Jimmy shits his pants. Uh. Uh, nope. He's just dribbling pee at this point in time. Uh, Jade, you're up. You've been hit once. What do you want to do? I cast major armor <clears throat> on myself. Good choice. New round. Uh, these guys are not done yet. They're slicing and dicing. These guys are ready to kick some ass. Jade. Are they going to really attack this poor innocent child? How dare they? Yeah. Uh, two uh, plus four is going to be a miss. Adric. Seven plus four. Eleven is a miss. Mav, uh Add plus one to your shield uh or your ac but if i only miss by one or two i'm hitting jimmy yeah well it's 12 then my ac eight, eight, 18 plus four is 22 uh he carves a swath and tries to cut your ear off uh that's uh five damage Do you want a hellish rebuke and risk bacon, Jimmy? Or um, well, I didn't do a rest. I only get it once. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Twelve, Adric, you're up. Okay, Bleeding out of your own better. volition. Uh, does a twelve hit? Twelve does hit these guys. Okay, good deal. I do a total of uh, six points of damage. Very good. Uh, Mav, you're up. I Using cast Jimmy. on me, Jade, and Adric. Okay. So everyone gets 
plus five to their hit points. Yes. Plus five temporary hit points? Yep. Is that it? Or um, do they get any rolls? No, that's it. And Jade to end round two. Go ahead. Uh, ten. Ten uh, rings off this dude's armor. Round three, Jade. Six plus four is ten. I'm assuming that's going to miss. Yep. Adric. Two plus four, ah. six. <laughs> of. Uh, two plus four is a six. He misses you. He misses Jimmy. Jimmy, Adric, you're up. All right. Young Jimmy McGill will never be okay. the Okay, 14 Solid hits, man. I assume. 14 hits? 11 is your target number, folks. Right. Okay, I do nine points of damage. Ooh, that one hurt. Uh, Mav, you're up. Um, I cast Sacred Flame on one of the guys. Okay. This will, so this will see make a front. dex 12 throw or take 1d8 radiant damage. That is a 1. So roll your damage and then roll your damage uh, at advantage. Because that's a nat 1. Nice. <laughs> so He's going up and flying. Yeah. Alright, so is it both damages combined or just the better one? Just the better one. Alright, so 7 radiant damage. Got it. Uh, as your blue flame leaves your fingertips, let's see if Jimmy shits himself. Nope. Wow. <laughs> he yells out, you get him, girl. Nice. <laughs> uh, Jade, you're up. Seventeen. Hits. Okay, I'm doing... <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do Witch Bolt again. D12. I'm liking that. Ugh, two. <laughs> Candy ass. New round. <laughs> Let's see. On Jade. Jesus. Eight plus four, 12. Uh, 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 uh. You guys can't hit the broad side of a barn. Uh, Adric, your guy fumbles, so you will attack at advantage. Okay. 17 plus 4 on Mauve. Uh -oh. Poor Mauve. She's the only one they can hit. Uh, two hit points of damage. Not very much. Me? Yep. Adric, your guy has stumbled and is... How is this kid in front of me not taking any of the damage? Because it's got to be a uh, 1 off or two mm -hmm. off. Got it. He's a shield. Uh, so, Adric, uh, this guy's out of position. You get to roll at advantage to attack him. This round only. Oh, it's still, well, I, okay, good thing I rolled at advantage because I rolled a nat one and an eight, but you said a 12 hits? An 11 hits. Okay, cool. But I only do four points of damage, so. Every little bit helps. Mauve, you and the human shield, Jimmy. Get him! Get him, girl! Get him! Get him! <laughs> He's gonna fall in love with you. That's right. <laughs> or shit himself. Mm. Or both. Yeah, exactly. So many choices, so little time. Right. I know. So cantrips I can keep using over and over again? Sure can. All right, so I can do my sacred flame again? Sure. <clears throat> I keep lighting them all up. So whoever Fifteen it's this time. Me, what? Fifteen this time. Ah, uh, so it's I, I it. deftly dodge your sacred flame this time. Oh, so close, so close, lady. Uh, Jade, you're up. This is 
since I'm still using Witch Bolt, five damage. Got it. I'm liking that. New hmm. round on Jade. Nine. Well, I... Wait, that hits you? Nope. Well, no, it's nine plus four, so it's 13. Nope. Okay. Adric. After regaining my balance, not 20, I come. Uh, up oh. With a, uh. <clears throat> and I give you a cleft chin. <laughs> uh, five hit points of damage. Uh, you now have an interesting scar. Blood spurts everywhere, all over your new trousers. Oh. Mauve. You have to go back to the tailors again. Two, I miss. So uh, that's it for round four for me. Adric, you're up. Am I still at advantage or not? Nope. Okay. Nice. Hey, for the love of God, is the part I miss. this important? You miss? I miss. Mom, Every you're day. up. All right. We do my sacred flame again. Uh, Nope, not this time. I got a six. <laughs> Oh, you, you got I six. got six. I missed. Okay. So, yeah, you hit me. All right. Seven damage. <clears throat> nice. Jade. How are they looking? Yeah. They look like nothing gave them. Eleven. Oh, they're, they're looking damaged. Eleven does hit. No. Eleven damage. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Jade's and Adderick's are a little bit worse off than yours. All of a sudden, a metal teapot comes flying out. Going for Mauves. Oh. <laughs> and Odd strikes Mauve, even strikes Jimmy. Two, uh, the coffee pot thrown by the merchant. Uh, at your assailant hits Jimmy upside the head and will give him a nice shiner. Uh, new round, Adric. Chick stick scars. <laughs> okay. Uh, you Bitches want me to roll the stitches. hit? Or... Yep. Okay. If, if you want, or you can surrender to me. No, no. Uh, 22. That hits. Uh, for seven points of damage. Down goes Frigia. Mav, uh, you see Adric's opponent crumble to the ground. You see Jimmy wincing in pain. Ah, my eye, my eye. We still got two people up. Mm -hmm. One on you, one on Jade. All right, sorry. Again, okay, my flame on this guy. <laughs> I swear he's going to die. At 20. Mm. <laughs> he does the Matrix. Nice. Right out the Jade. door. Bye. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jade, you're up. <laughs> Twelve. Hits. No damage. Oh, <laughs> dead. <laughs> Real dead. Nice. Uh, with that, there is only one. Does he stay or should he go? Well, if he leaves, we get the tax opportunity. Uh, yes, but he ain't gonna leave because he's eyeballing Jimmy and his uh sweetness. He's a pedophile, <laughs> yep. 18 plus 4, 22. He's going for that ear, Mav. One hit point of damage. <laughs> but if you were wearing an earring, that baby's gone. Uh, probably last round, Adric, you're up. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. You said there's only one up left, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are we boring? Nineteen PM? plus four is a twenty-three. So that hits. Seven points of damage. Mauve, your guy is not looking well at all. Jimmy's blabbering on about nearly getting killed. I'm loving you. Right. He loves I, you. Again with my flame. Uh, 
18. You know what? When I see him in hell. <laughs> you're, you're fighting Neo, man. Uh, Jade, uh, Mav's guy doesn't look so great, but. All right. Let's see what happens. Ah, shit. Uh, A bad shit? I'm not sure. Uh, 9, 10, 11? 11 hits. Um, we will do then... He yeah, I said arrow. You've already used it. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's do... Ray of Frost? Oh, sure. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, well, Time okay. hold. He's getting the hold. Mm -hmm. So, like, spa experience today. Four. A redhead emerges out from the back room as this guy freezes over. He's got on eyeglasses, turns around, he goes, put him on ice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And you can you can hear the music in the background. Well, Caitlin can't because she's too young. John might be too young, but yeah. What was that show? <sighs> Down in Florida with David Caruso. Oh, CSI, oh, okay. CSI Miami. <laughs> you put that guy on ice. It? Yep. It was the second mm -hmm. CSI they made. Uh, all three are dead. All right, we <laughs> lose that shit again. Uh... Three more. Uh, uh, necklaces of noons and what about the proprietor and jimmy yeah uh, we need to get jimmy some healing are they okay yeah you, can i cure wounds on the on jimmy you can if you want he's just got a, a shiner he calls it his battle scar that's right <laughs> oh does he want it should i ask him like would you like to keep the scar or do you want uh, me to heal it for you he heard jade say chicks dig scars so he wants to keep it at least for tonight might be able to get him some tail tonight nice right, right. i think <laughs> we all just take a rest door the people next door no she wants to take a rest mm -hmm. oh and i say what about the owner of the store He's fine. He's, not he's, with a, us. He's, he's apologetic to Jimmy. Now, here's the thing. You guys can't really take a short rest because you are you're on a time yeah. tape. Well, but do, if you act it, nicely, maybe the cleric will heal you. Yeah, he's going to say, yes, I need to get back to idea. the cleric and say, look. I was like, me the cleric? Or like... <laughs> no, the cleric, we're, we're, we're hauling all this stuff. For. Yeah. All right. So each of you has a banner under each arm. Uh, it's starting to get late, man. Yeah. Supper okay, time. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna book it to the uh, chapel then. Okay. Uh, so you're running. Yes. Um, okay, Forrest, give me a dexterity check. Uh, damn it! <laughs> oh, fun. <clears throat> run, Forrest, run. Thirteen plus one is fourteen. Oh yeah, yeah. He is hauling the mail. Uh, Mauve, Jade, as you follow in behind him, you guys all arrive at the church. There is, there is a huge line. Huge. Uh, you kind of... Can we not get through the line or something? Oh, no, no. They're... they're oh, hey. The heroes are here. Woo. Okay, as we walk through, I cast, what's it, Thaumaturgy, however you say it. And as we walk, we got like some little fireworks type of light show going off for us nice oh yeah the the rubes <laughs> are digging that you guys go on up uh to the deacon <clears throat> uh oh whew. oh you made it those are those look oh he pulls them out oh these are going to be awesome these are uh really going to be awesome okay i say look before you ask us to do something else we <laughs> probably had our yes? asses kicked so, could you heal us? Maybe get some spell slots back? Uh, I can't give you your spell slots back, but I can heal you guys. That's that's not a problem. And but I say, I, I kind of, I kind of have, I, I kind of have another favor. Only if you I'll, heal. I'll, I'll be happy to heal you. My brain is. A blah, 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 but but, but, it, but I I I I, I kind of need you to do one more thing. So if I heal you, will you do this one more thing? Uh, I, I, wait. 
I have a question. Go ahead. So we came and got your relic. Mm -hmm. And now there's people that are out here saying that we're tomb robbers trying to kill us. A couple times. That's weird. Yeah, it is. And now you're saying you're not going to heal us unless we agree to help you. Well, no, I'll heal you either way, but I won't charge you if you, you do this one small favor for me. Oh. Does it involve sacrifice? No, as you, as you can see, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people here for the celebration. Uh, I want us to kill some of them off. Well, no, uh, I, it, our venue is not big enough. We were wondering if you could go up to the keep and ask the Lord if we could do it in the courtyard. Because, you know, you're heroes, you know, you're kind of big wigs. Uh, we don't want to go inside the keep. We just but then we have to move stuff. all this stuff from here up. To oh, 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 these people will all grab stuff. So that that's not a problem at all. Okay. He, he takes the banners from you and he, he goes ahead and lays on hands. So everybody's back to full health. And you're not <clears> going to charge us though, right? Nope, nope. Free, free for the heroes. You guys, you guys mm -hmm. get free healing. But could you go up to? Uh, I think it's called Hornbeam. Uh, Horntack, Horntack Keep, and ask the Lord Horntack if we can use that venue. And what if they say no? He's he's a good man, and you guys are heroes, so I don't think he's going to say no. Okay, so I I take. Does he get an invitation to the party? Oh, most assuredly, if it's on his grounds. So I talk to my compatriots and I'm like, you know what? We've already got the money and we've got the extra money from the savings for the beer. Why do yeah, we but the whole to... town could like die and burn up and like I'm a little bit for this chaos. Why right would now. they die and burn up? Because he's going to kill everyone. They're going to have a seance. Yeah. Who's going to kill and burn everyone? The cleric at the church. No, they just want us because we stole their relic. We just need to get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Yeah, but we could be like, okay, you're allowed to have your party, and then we could skadoodle and just watch the town from the hill. Oh, maybe, maybe make a little time. Free movie. I'll get the popcorn. And your heroes. I mean, these people love you. And I'm lawful good, so I'm not sure how I'd feel about... Um... No, I'm straight up evil. We're good. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm chaotic <laughs> neutral, so I'm like looking after myself. Uh, I was like, right. John, you've played murder hobos before. You can't do that shit. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I'm okay. like, you know what? These guys can't. I got. I got to remember never to play lawful good again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These guys can have their own fucking party. Just be lawfully, lawfully <laughs> evil. <laughs> okay. So, so I, I mean, it has to be you're, bad. You're free to refuse. He will ask for a hundred gold piece donation for the healing, but you are Which under no bullshit. obligation. Hello. You guys were the wounded ones. If you have we're a group heroes. of people escort us up there, we'll totally go and ask. Oh yeah, yeah sure. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll even go with you if you want. Yeah, come awesome. with us. Yeah, definitely. Hold my hand. That will, that will. He he says. Everybody pick up two chairs and we'll be able to clean this up in no time. Uh, and you know what? You guys are at the head of the parade. Everybody's following you, bringing all the snacks and the chairs and the banners. I mean, no, you guys. No, I want our cleric so dude right next to me, right next to me. Oh, sure. Yeah, he'll 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 be right next to you. He likes to hobnob with the heroes. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not a problem. You guys, go, you guys go through town. Uh, there's like. 50 people. I mean, this is a good crowd here. And, you know, you are oh, 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 walking up. You're going up the hill. Uh, the guards Down look the at hill. you uh, as you approach. Uh, small problem. Uh, there's a lot of people right there at the gate, and nobody's moving. Can I make the gates open? Wait, are the gates locked? No, gates are wide open. You can see them, but there's just a crowd of people ahead of you for some reason. Um, <clears throat> okay, can I do... A child spots you. Wait. And looks at Mauve and says, Hey, everybody, the heroes are here. 
the crowd part. I, I'm going to make my voice boom and be like, <clears throat> clear path or something. Out of the way. Yes, well, they're coming. Way. Run for your life. <laughs> really dramatic, but like. Right. Uh, as, as, as the crowd parts, like your Moses. Uh, yeah. You what the problem <laughs> is, it's an overturned cart and a dead ox. Yeah. The people up there are trying to pull and tug it, but they aren't very strong. So. Uh, I don't know. Bye. There's just an ox in the way. Ox and an overturned cart. Mm. Wow. Someone want to cast healing on the ox? Uh, oh, it's dead. It's dead as liquid. So maybe we could me. cook it? That's you could have an ox a <laughs> Yeah. That'd be fine, but you got to get it out of the middle of the road. Why can't we just go over it? Hold well, on. I've got, looking I've, got, it. I've got 15 strength. How much strength would it take to move this ox? <laughs> Well, you aren't sure. Let me uh, let me try to move the ox then. Sure. Not with a seven, I don't. It's a heavy ox. It's gonna need a couple of you, as well as the people that are already there. Maybe we just need to burn it. Mm -hmm. The ox on. Fire. You can't burn Bernice. <laughs> <laughs> See, now it has a name, so now, you know, you can't do that. It's not a war cow, for God's sakes. That's true. It could have been a war ox, but Come now here. it's dead. Come on, Thor. <clears throat> uh, uh, you guys want to try and yank it out of the way? I guess. If, if He doesn't want Bernice set on fire, but, you know. Why does he want Bernice set on fire? Well, he loved her. Yeah, but she's going to make love to it when it's dead. It's one of those. Is there rigor mortis <laughs> set in? I mean, I suppose that's, that's an option. It's dead. It gave up on its life. It was like, I cannot take this no more. If you guys want to set it on fire, go ahead. No, let's just drag it out of the way. Okay, everybody roll strength check. <sighs> have no strength. Damn it. Okay, this time I got a 14. Right. 11. Uh, 24, 35, 35 points of strength, and you guys managed to pull Bernice to the side of the road. Uh, okay. and he and is already, he's already called the butcher to go ahead and what the hell? I thought he loved her. He loved her. He didn't want to see her burn. We'll, we'll no. eat Bernice later. What an asshole. Uh, but now the gates are open the path Great. is clear you guys can lead the parade up there uh, and uh, Lord Horntack is right there right in front like these people want to party here and you're invited you must leave just Why? me what can I all, all of you you must all go away okay everybody insight roll <coughs> Natural one. Uh, I'm totally oblivious. <laughs> uh, 18. Five. I give up on this. Wow. Uh, as you, as Adric and Mauve give puzzled looks to each other, Jade, you notice uh, Lord Horntack. Great. So... We're outside. I'm afraid I'll leave. So we're outside, right? Yep. I have the party right out here then. That's where you were supposed to have the party. I just set up the party. I whisper to my friends. I said this there's something else going on here. I think he's being held hostage by the people that have been trying to kill us. Ah. What do you think our best course of action is? Give him a hug. Thank you for leaving, everybody. I appreciate it. Please return to your homes. I think we need to <coughs> pretend like we're doing what he wants us to do. Good idea. But 
think everybody else needs to leave, but we need to stay. Good idea. I like that plan. I'm not sure how to make that happen, though. I okay, think everyone that's... should stay. Deacon's right there. Uh, Deacon, can you convince everyone to have the party out here? Well, that's where we want to, but the Lord wants us to leave. Well, how about on the other side of the gate? Uh, well, we can kind of set up, but that dead ox is going to be a problem. I thought we already moved it and they chopped it up. They're chopping it up as we speak. So you want to have the celebration right there? Yes, yeah, well, we could we, 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 we could we could serve we could serve the dead Circle off. Of life and uh, we have a barbecue. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, after Jade has pointed out something's wrong, you guys look at the Lord and he's a zombie. No, he's <laughs> Hey. Oh, oh I thought you were like he's like zombie. <laughs> <laughs> so, I go over to the deacon and I'm like I give him some gold and I say here set up a barbecue out here okay yeah he'll be happy to do that and make sure hopefully you, the wind doesn't change make sure you use Mike's sweet and tangy barbecue sauce cause that shit rules Wow. All right, then what do you want to do? Uh, we go back over the to out. the Lord and we're like, um, thank you everybody for leaving. Okay. They're all leaving, but, um, Mav and I find you very compelling and we want to go up and get to know you better. In your bedroom. <laughs> Whoa! I don't think there's a seduction skill here. Uh, uh, no! You must all leave. Mm -hmm. All of Take us? Take off your pants. Why do we all have to leave? I mean, the crowd's going. There's just three of us. Everybody needs to leave. Okay, we'll go, and I have invisibility. Uh, what? Oh, good. All right, Harry Potter. So I can tool around and try to find out what's Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, so, Mav, as you wonder why your sensual charisma seems to have failed you in this regard, <laughs> and Adric begins to smell Bernice on the Barbie, <laughs> uh, Jade, you go over by the door that he was motioning towards, and you see just inside the door a cleric-y type wearing the black robe with the violet piping uh, holding a dagger to... The Lord's wife's throat. What an asshole. Well, if he kills her, you guys can do your threesome and everybody's happy. <laughs> they might even cook the lo the lady. Yeah, but the Lord's not going to be happy if his wife, wife is dead. So, if you're invisible, couldn't you just, like, go up and, like, take the knife or, like, slice the guy's throat open? Yeah, I agree Good with that. Good idea. Is that what you want to do? I'm invisible, so I am going to... Mm. Ooh, I'm a ghost in here! <laughs> yes, I will go up and stab him. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> 17? 17? <laughs> <coughs> 17 is exactly what you need. Okay. And... Uh, oh, that's crappy. 
four points of damage. Invisibility drops at the attack. Uh, Jade stabs him, and everybody hears a scream, and the lady exits hastily. Uh, she is now safe, but Jade and the BBG are at each other. Everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Ten. <laughs> Twenty. Sweet. What the hell is that? <clears throat> oh, well, that's not good. That's five. Fair enough. Uh, 20. Mav, you notice uh, the Lord's wife running out uh, after you just propositioned him. Uh, maybe it's a foursome. I don't know. Uh, she's screaming, he's in there. He's in there. Wow. So, Mav, what do you want to do? Uh, ask anyone who wants to come and join us upon this heroic uh, fight. <laughs> Fuck that. They're all I on the other side of the <laughs> okay. a barbecue. Uh, next up is moi. Uh, I... I'm walking towards Jade, by the way, if I say yep, that. I, okay. Yep, I heard. Uh, I will create a spiritual weapon first, and then I will swing my magic oh. mace. You want to do spiritual mm-hmm. weapon? Mm-hmm. Wait, can I go cast mine? <laughs> Give me a wisdom save, Jade. Um. <laughs> 14. Ooh. You are not blinded uh, by the light. However, the mace does murder hobo your ass. Uh, that's eight hit points of damage, but you are not blind. 19 or 20, you got to make a wisdom save or you're fucked. Uh, 10, Adderick, uh he's in there, he's in there, and Mauve casually strolls towards the door for some reason. <clears throat> what do you want to do? Dramatic engine. Oh, can, can, can I attack the uh, cultist who's attacking the... Oh. Nope. You aren't even close. Well, I'm going to try to run uh, to, to get to, to the Lord of the Manor. He's right there. Oh. But, but I don't see what became of the cultist. You don't know any cultist. Oh, okay. All right. All Wait, right. you didn't hear me shouting more. about joining on this heroic quest? He gets a one in perception all the time. It's hard to say. Oh, my goodness. That's true. Um, <laughs> uh, can I? Okay. If the Lord of the Manor's there, I'm going to ask him if he's okay. Yeah, I'm fine. There's some asshole in a black robe in there. Okay, uh, if he's pointing the way to the asshole in the black robe, I'm gonna go that way. Fair enough. You yeah, guys, I feel like you gotta take it literal, like not a person, just literally a butthole in a robe. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's so weird. Uh, what is that? I, I will allow you to assume that. Uh, <laughs> I will. Uh, I spelled that wrong. Uh, I will assume. Jade fires off Witch Bolt, her new favorite thing. Uh, hits. Ouch. Max damage. Sweetness. Uh, <clears throat> new round. Uh, Mauve and Adderick, you will get there at the end of the round and you will be able to attack. Then you will okay, subsequently so- uh, reattack. Uh, BBG sees you guys coming. He will go odd even, odd Adric even, Mauve. Three, Adric, you're going to take the brunt of his magical spiritual weapon. Thirteen plus two, fifteen. Does that hit you, Adric? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, armor class. No, it has to be 18. I thought you were saying damage. Okay. Okay. Nope. Uh, now he will attack Jade again. Uh, 
That's a six. Plus six is 12. That's going to miss. <clears throat> that misses. So, uh, Jade, you did hit him with the witch bolt earlier. Do you want to use the same thing? And you also maxed out at 12 on that one. <clears throat> and you got 10 this time. Uh, top of the lo- line mauve and then Adric and then mauve will go again so, so mauve you're up bonus action well um i don't know can i cast spiritual weapon it says bonus actions or is that like i had the pre- you'll be able to cast it and then it will attack the next round <laughs> okay so i can attack then cast spiritual weapon okay yeah or you can cast spiritual weapon and use it to attack but then the next time you would attack and the spiritual weapon would attack. Um, I cast another spell. I don't know. Nope. You can only cast one real spell. Wait, you're saying if... Okay, sorry. All right, I'll cast it. You can attack and cast Spiritual Weapon, or you can cast Spiritual Weapon and use it to attack. All right, yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'll cast the Spiritual <laughs> Weapon, which is, like, the most chaotic thing you're going to see. It's, like, death and hell and everything comes to life. It's like a, uh, a meat so. tenderizer. Yeah, yeah, but it's, like, made from, like, dismembered body parts of all sorts of things. Nice. And there's, like, like constantly Teeth. dripping from it. Yeah, it's, sure. like... A monster. He's not gonna be afraid. <laughs> uh guessing ten doesn't hit. You guess correctly. Adric, you have arrived as well. Uh you see an asshole in a black robe. You see Jade bleeding <laughs> profusely. I am <clears throat> going to swing at the asshole in the black robe. One, 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 two. I uh-huh. still miss. <laughs> well, but it didn't hit us. Uh, Mauve, this time you lose a wisp of hair. Uh, Mauve, top of the order. You got the 20. You get to attack again. <clears throat> All right. So I attack with the mace, which is probably not going to hit something terrible. Seven doesn't hit. Nope. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Uh, 17? 17 does hit. And five damage from the spiritual weapon. Very nice. Uh, His turn, spiritual weapon. Uh, Again at Adric. Mm, 16 plus 6, 22. That hits. Seven hit points of damage. Uh, Then odd even. Odd, he remains on Jane and uses that damn blinding mace. 19 plus six. Uh, You're going to have to make another wisdom save or you're going to be blind. And you will take five hit points of damage. Oh, I need to make wisdom save? Nope, you do not. Just okay. Jade. Okay. Thirteen. Uh oh. Stevie Wonder is now at the helm. <laughs> uh ten is up next. Adric. <coughs> okay, let's try this again, shall we? Natural one again. Okay, who do I hit? Six. Maybe you hit Stevie Wonder. Possibly. (laughs) Don't kill me. What is it? Oh, did you say a D6? Yep. Okay. 
a four. It's yourself again. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Do your damage. Cut it in half. Okay, three points. Jade, uh, re-roll your wisdom save. Fifteen. Uh, uh, uh. You blink a couple times, and slowly you start to focus in again, uh, just as Adric hits himself again. New round, Bob, you're up. Um, I cast Inflict Wounds. Sure, you got to touch him. Touch him. Does 15 hit? Nope, it does not. <laughs> Can I still do Spiritual Weapon or no? Was it yep, only... you still All get right. Spiritual Weapon. I just think 7 doesn't hit. I need to is, sage myself. <laughs> he is going to spiritual weapon Adric again. 16 plus 6. Boom, baby. <clears throat> Five more hit points to Adric. Uh, odd even on Jade and Mauve. He doesn't like Jade at all. 17 plus 6, that's going to be a hit, but it's not going to be a blinding hit. Murder hobo. Wah, wah. You guys need like, any saving healing? 8 damage. Uh, no, you can heal yourself. That's no problem. Top of, or I'm sorry, yeah, I'm not top right of the order. Uh, uh, Jade, it's up to you. You can now see at least. Not in real life, just in the game she can see. 13. Swing and a miss. Top of the order, Mauve. <clears throat> I'm going to try to touch him again. With my inflict wounds. I freaking hate this thing. Six. It was like 20. Wah, wah. <clears throat> Spiritual okay. weapon on Adric. Oh, I'm sorry. You got another attack. Yeah, it was five. It doesn't hit anyway. All right. Ad Beyond. Adric, six plus six is 12. Miss. Oh, got to see who I'm going for. Odd. You really hate your guts, Jade. Uh, five plus six is 11. Does not hit. Adric. Try to hit somebody other than yourself. Okay, that's a 16 plus a 4 is a 20. That one gets him. He's feeling the pinch there. Only 4 points of damage, though. Every little bit helps. Jade. <clears throat> 17. It's okay. We're going back to Witch Bolt. Four. Not bad. Everybody here is pew, pew, pew <laughs> as three crossbow bolts enter the arena. Towards us or towards him? Towards him, the Lord's guards have arrived. Oh, good. Thank you. And 12 and 2, the 2 splits Adderick's hair <laughs> as he almost takes one. Mav, you're up. Right. The odds are certainly in your favor. Are they? Well, it's now 6 to 1. <clears throat> I'm gonna just cast Sacred Flame. <laughs> Nineteen. 
Why? <laughs> they're they're all Neo. Uh, I hate this guy. Hold on, my spiritual weapon. <laughs> 16 still doesn't hit, right? 17? 17 is what you need. It's just... Adric, you're dancing with his mace. Uh, 9 plus 6, 15. Nope, he needs an 18. Odd even. 5, odd. Jade, you're up. 17 plus 6. Hits you again, but not blinding. One plus two is three hit points of damage. <clears throat> Adric, you got Bowman behind you. You got an asshole and a cloak in front of you. And you got I only rolled a 15, so I assume I miss. Rings off his armor. Jade, you're up. And then the archers get another crack at him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> archers are going to get him. Negatory. Ooh, 17, 9, and 3. One of the archers has struck true, and she hoots in pleasure as she delivers a murder hobo to him. New round. Mav. The cleric appears to be getting tired, and he has a crossbow bolt sticking in his shoulder. I'm going to do Sacred Flame again. He gets one in the 12, I swear. Uh, 14 plus 2, 16. All right, never mind. <laughs> and then my spiritual weapon. Ooh, 22. <laughs> it's him right in the face. Nice. Damage? Six damage, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One hit point left, but it's his turn. Adric, he may kill me before he dies. You're going to die? Why don't you say something? Seriously. <laughs> 16 no. plus 6, the spiritual weapon connects. All right. We'll use the uh, murder hobo con die. Murder hobo con! Eight hit points of damage. Are you dead? Okay, I, no, I'm at five hit points. Teeth go everywhere. Uh, Jade, Mav. Are y'all just going? Three goes after Jade again. Please. 12 plus six is 18. He connects. Let's use a, uh, let's use an adventure in fill bar. Mm -hmm. Die. Three plus two is five damage. Adric, you're up. This guy is on death's door. He's knock, knock, knocking. Okay, here we Stomp go. Let's see if, shit. With my five hit points, if I can do something. And then he's not like, with a seven. I don't. Jade, do you have it in you to be the heroine? Let's see. Eighteen. Well, you did. 18 hits? Uh, let's you. Er. You need one damage. Okay, let's just use the Witch Bolt. Oh, sure. D12. Let's see how bad. Four. His face explodes. Blood splatters Ooh. up against the back. And as you do so, Funk, funk, funk. Nat 20, an 18, and a 17. Three more bolts go into this guy, and the guards proclaim they got him. <laughs> really? Make little fireworks go off again. We helped get him. <laughs> uh, the Lord and Lady come in, see the carnage rot, see that you're injured, yell for the deacon and the pastor to get in here and and save you guys from dying, proclaims you heroes, and allows the festivities to occur in the keep courtyard. Once again, you have shown your heroism in the face of danger, uh, in spite of Adric trying to kill himself. Uh, for Please. what purpose? Oh, he's going to give you guys 
300 gold pieces each for saving his wife and his keep. So you guys are living high on the hog, and he will point out a real estate opportunity that he will gladly pay half up front for you if you want to stay in Johan's Bend. So all in all... I don't have to pay taxes on it. Ever. Mm -hmm. Right. I want A-Track tapes to come back. Nice. (laughs) Uh, I can't remember where the real estate opportunity... Oh, okay, yeah. The real estate opportunity is... His backyard. Just kidding. C4, <laughs> right there. So not waterfront property, but you know, if you guys want to spend 500 gold pieces, he'll spot you the other 500, and you guys can have a house in. Uh, and like no tax. Spend. No taxes for a year. <laughs> How about ever? How about a year? How Fine. About... Then after that, it's only. <laughs> he, he, you know, if you were creating jobs. He could go ahead and see doing that, but you aren't creating jobs. Yeah, but, you know, we your wife's not dead. Jobs. We protect your city. Two years, no taxes. Your wife could be dead. Two years, no taxes, best you can do. <laughs> I could kill Ten your Ten years, wife. no taxes. Nice. Threatened his wife's life. <laughs> Folks, there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, real short time. No time for short rests even. Caitlin, what would you think? I wanted a short rest so badly. Oh, uh, <laughs> to make matters worse, since you lost the roll-off, not only did the arguing couple not want to have a threesome with you, uh, turns out that little Jimmy McGill with the black eye, he, for some fun. <laughs> He's so they too pick, young. Yeah. We'll see. What'd you think overall? It's good. Yeah, yeah, I also clearly haven't played in a bit, so it's nice to temporarily. You were a little rusty. Yeah, you were you were rusty, but that's okay. John, what'd you think? Well, I had a great time. I uh, I uh, like I said, uh, I've missed getting the game in person, but I've I've really been enjoying the virtual gaming the past couple years. There you go. And Carrie, what'd you think? I miss Caitlin. I was gonna say you missed me. I know it. And I you have said missed it. I was like, you. I was about to be facetious, and you. Oh my god! And Cacophony, your your character is still there, boning somebody on the boat forever. But she it's got not that you. Stamina. Yeah, it's so yeah, sad. Yeah, the house I like messaged Frank. I was like, "Can I just like drop in the chat and just be like a voice in the background talking to you guys?" Right. <laughs> we, we've decided that you constantly bone that other Asmar. So, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit. Join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap. The uh, link is down there. If you want to be on a one shot or on the Tuesday talk show, not this Tuesday, uh, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will work around your schedule and see if we can get you on. Uh, don't forget, Murder Hobo Con duh, uh, goes live in two weeks, uh, February 12th and 13th. Uh, event submissions end on Tuesday at 11.45 p.m. Uh, we've got over 30 events, plenty of other cool stuff besides that. So if you're interested, that's right. For your yeah. Valentine, pick them up a badge for uh, MurderHoboCon.com. Uh, don't forget, if you need some dice, and who doesn't, especially Adderick, his dice sucked, Ooh. as did Caitlin's. Uh, Go over to Twitter and contact at Pirate Dog Dice. See if they got the time to make some. Uh, And then, of course, if your game stinks unlike ours, uh, grab yourself some Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. They got over 60 cents for your entertainment as well as the shine system. Uh, If you want to write gooder than me, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate your time. Everybody, give them the big old kiss and wave. Yeah, uh, I need a Valentine's Day date. Cause that's uh, the-